It's a tasty treat. Welcome to my kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gregory Gage and today I'm going to be cooking. Well, I'm not going to be cooking, I'm going to be baking. I'm hardly going to be baking. I'm not baking or cooking. I'm going to be making some Mickey Mouse Rice Krispie treats because I love the treats that they have in the parks and I'm all out of them. So I'm going to make some of my own. Firstly, you've got to be dressed right for the occasion, obviously. So, Mickey Mouse apron, here we go. Now that we're all good to go, let's get started. What you're going to need for this is very, very simple. You need Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Then you're definitely gonna need some marshmallows. I didn't know what size to get, so I went with small ones like this. And then I also got two packets of Haribo Charmellows. Butter, I am using Le Pack. Two bars of white chocolate for melting and decoration. Multicolored hundreds and thousands. And because these are gonna be Disney Rice Krispie treats, we obviously need some Disney molds. I have my Mickey Mouse cake tin here. I'm gonna be using this to make my giant Rice Krispie treat. And then I've also got some rubber molds as well here. So any extra chocolate that I have left over, I'm just going to put into these molds. So I've got some Disney shaped chocolate as well. This is a very simple recipe. The prep time is only 10 minutes. Total time is about half an hour. Literally anyone can do this. It's the most simple recipe ever. Okay, let's get started. In your pan, you're gonna to want to heat three tablespoons of butter. Now, as your butter is melting, you wanna add four cups of the miniature marshmallows. I added in a couple of handfuls of the larger Haribo charmellos. So we're now mixing that. You don't wanna overdo it. Do it on a lowish heat, just so that it gets to a nice, marshmallowy, gooey consistency. <laughs> Once your marshmallows have completely melted and it's all smooth, it should be looking something like this. Take them away from the heat, turn off the heat because you're not gonna need it anymore, and now you're ready to add in your Rice Krispies. Now to this mixture, we're going to add six cups of Rice Krispies. And you just wanna get that as coated as possible with the marshmallow mixture, so. We're going to mix this all together. Once you have your Rice Krispie and Marshmallow mixture completely mixed up and mixed together, it's time to put it into a pan. You don't have to do a Mickey Mouse shaped pan like I'm doing, but just make sure it is coated with uh, cooking spray or something to stop it from getting stuck to the tray. Just lined mine with butter again, so that shouldn't stick in there. And we're just gonna start filling the tray with the Rice Krispie mixture. Now I've just put some butter on my hands so that I can push this in without it getting stuck to my hands. So I want this to be in here really solid. So I've got my Rice Krispies really packed in there nicely to the baking tray. I do actually have quite a bit of extra Rice Krispies here, so I'm going to put these into another pan, not in a Disney shape. There is far too much here to waste, so. Extra treats. Isn't Disney baking fun? Now that the two of those are done, I'm just going to pop them in the fridge to cool down while I work on the decorations. For the decoration, what I'm gonna do is melt some white chocolate in a bowl, but I'm gonna do it on the hob, so I will show you how to do it. In a large pan, just fill the pan with boiling water, keep it on a relatively low heat, and then just let it sit at that, that temperature. Now in a, another bowl, I'm gonna take a plastic bowl here, I'm gonna fill this up with the white chocolate, break that up into all the little pieces, if you prefer to melt the chocolate in the microwave, you can do it in the microwave. I just find that every time I've done that myself, I end up burning the chocolate. So to avoid burning the chocolate, this is a really good way that makes it super easy for you to keep track of how the chocolate is melting without letting it burn. Pop that bowl into the hot water and the heat from the water around this is gonna melt the chocolate. And you wanna keep mixing that until it's a nice smooth consistency. There's no lumps or bumps or anything. And then it is time to decorate. Now that the white chocolate has finished melting, I'm just gonna take it off the heat. So I'm taking it out of the pan. You can see that is very, very creamy. That is exactly how you want it. Super smooth, creamy consistency. So I'm gonna take that off the heat and put it to the side. And I'm just going to get the crispy treats out of the fridge now. These look 
perfect. Now I definitely need to invest in some larger plates, but I'm gonna have to put them onto my standard black plates. I really like the plates they've got at the Disney store right now, the ink and paint ones, so I may have to treat myself to some of those very, very soon. But what I'm going to do now is just plop these onto the plates and then I can start decorating. What we're gonna do now is just pour this on very, very slowly, carefully and evenly, as evenly as possible. I'm doing my best to get it nice and even. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. And then I'm going to just smooth that out on the top. And that is now pouring down the side of there. That's pouring down the side of there. So our Mickey one is pretty much covered in the white chocolate and I'm going to put some sprinkles on there now so it'll be nice and colorful. Now that my Mickey head has been completely covered in sprinkles, I'm going to put this back in the fridge to let it set. This I'm just going to cover with cling film and let it just sit in the fridge until we want to eat it. Now I do have some leftover chocolate in the bowl. What I'm going to do now is make the most out of my rubber Disney molds. So I'm going to make some Disney chocolate using the leftover. So I have my rubber molds. I've got a Mickey Mouse one here. I've got a little glove, shorts, a smaller version of that, and just a little Mickey head here. So I've got plenty of little rubber molds. I'm going to put some of these into the smaller ones. That way when I pour the chocolate in, it's going to have a nice colorful top of the chocolate. And then what I'm gonna do with the larger one is put some chocolate chips into the white chocolate so we get a nice mix. Got my chocolate chips here. These are gonna go straight into the white chocolate. Mix that into the white chocolate. So these little things I'm going to pop in the fridge so that they can set. And once they're done, we'll just pop them out and they'll be fine. Once your Rice Krispie treats have been in the fridge long enough for the chocolate to set, it's time to take it out. And here we have the finished giant Mickey Mouse Rice Krispie treat. I have kneaded up the edges around the outside as well, so I've taken off a wee extra chocolate that melted to the sides, so it's a really nice Mickey Mouse shape. And there you have it guys, really really easy way to make yourself a Disney treat that's not from the parks, but tastes just as good as it is from the parks, and very very Disney. Disney. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried making one of these, or if you are planning to do it now that you've seen this video. I am going to enjoy eating this. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all the other stuff all down below in the links. See you next time. Bye. You didn't think I forgot about the chocolate, did you? I didn't. Late. And then here are the chocolates that I put into the rubber molds. We're gonna demold them now. And that should be nice and colorful on the top. How cool does that look? Mickey's shorts, Mickey's head. And then the final one is big. This is a big bar of chocolate. You can see what the print is gonna look like. Voila, that is so cool. Look how good that looks. If you want to get hold of some of these rubber molds yourself, I'm honestly not too sure where to get them. These were given to me as a gift and I think they were picked up in a craft store or a home store in Greece. I'm not sure exactly where they're from, but Google them. I'm sure you'll be able to find some Disney rubber molds online. And yeah, good luck. Happy baking. Hey.